Do you have an overactive immune system? The idea of having an immune system that is actually working too hard is not an issue discussed pertaining to immunity. On the contrary, virtually every piece of information that is readily available on the immune system pertains to ways in which an individual can strengthen this natural defense against illness. Hey, would you like an ongoing supply of essential news, helpful resources, and 100% free courses on drug free health secrets? Too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon. And I promise, you'll never miss out again. However, it is entirely possible for an individual's immune system to become overactive. This is most commonly manifested through one of the diseases falling under the category of autoimmune disease. What is an autoimmune disease? In a normally functioning immune system, the body is able to identify things such as viruses and other pathogens that it does not recognize before taking necessary measures to destroy these invaders. This is a straightforward, albeit very simple explanation for the entire immune response. By definition, an autoimmune disease is a disorder in which the immune system begins to attack and destroy its own healthy cells. This obviously results in a significant disruption of normal bodily functions. What causes this type of disease? The short answer is that there is no universally agreed upon reason why autoimmune diseases occur. While some types of autoimmune diseases are known to be correlated with variables such as gender, race, and heredity, any exact cause remains unknown. Some scientists hypothesize that an overactive immune system may be caused by the typical items found in a Western diet, such as an excessive amount of fat and sugar. These ingredients are known to cause a lot of inflammation in the body, causing some to believe that this may trigger an abnormal immune response. There are also those in the scientific community that attribute overactive immune systems and the resulting autoimmune diseases to the modern trend of vaccinating children and the increased use of antiseptic agents. These individuals believe that because of these hygienic practices, some people's immune systems are not exposed to enough germs and pathogens early in life, causing an excessive immune response to sometimes harmless substances later on. Examples of autoimmune diseases Rheumatoid arthritis. Unlike its counterpart, osteoarthritis, which is caused by excessive wear and tear of the body's joints over time. Rheumatoid arthritis is a classic example of an autoimmune disease. This condition is characterized by the immune system attacking various joints, most commonly the smaller joints of the hands. Rheumatoid arthritis often leads to severe deterioration. Deformity and overall loss of function in affected joints. Multiple sclerosis. In order to improve function and protect the neurological system, nerves are surrounded with a fatty outer coating. Multiple sclerosis is a condition in which the immune system, in a hyperactive state, begins to destroy this insulation surrounding nerves. Along with peripheral nerves, the brain and eyes are also affected by multiple sclerosis. While there are several forms of multiple sclerosis, this disease is usually progressive. Over time, a large number of bodily functions such as eyesight, balance, and the ability to control skeletal muscles become severely impaired. Celiac disease. Celiac disease, though discovered quite a long time ago, has gained much more recognition in more recent times. As many people have begun to shift towards a gluten free diet, this is another example of an autoimmune disease, characterized by an adverse reaction to the ingestion of gluten. In the presence of celiac disease, when gluten is consumed and moves into the small intestine, the immune system begins to attack important structures in this area known as villi. These are tentacle like projections protruding from the walls of the small intestine that help absorb more nutrients from food. This hinders the body's ability to get the nourishment it requires for vital functions. Hey, would you like an ongoing supply of essential news, helpful resources, and 100% free courses on drug free health secrets? Too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe. And be sure to click the bell icon. And I promise, you'll never miss out again.